good day. Um, so this is the web browser control on my form here. And the web browser control has a document object. And this document object holds information about the parsed website that is loaded, or the web page. And it organizes everything into cascading elements that you can access and iterate through. It's very nice. Um, you cannot get the class attribute. You will not be able to do this. You have to write your own uh, regular expression method to do this. But other than that, it's pretty nice. So I'm going to show you how you can identify controls and get them and retrieve them and whatnot. So let's go to YouTube here. And the first thing that I do when I'm looking at controls to click and stuff, so in our case we're going to be clicking the like button. You want to open up Mozilla Firefox and then right click anywhere, hit inspect element, and then go down to the bottom left hand corner and hit this little uh, cursor thing so that you can select the controls. I'm going to select the like button here and it's going to highlight its HTML. And all I'm looking for is the ID attribute because there's a method that we can use to retrieve the element element by the ID. And it makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to copy the ID and then I'm going to go down to uh, my button here. We're going to go into the event handler and we're going to get the HTML element which is the button. So like button web browser one document get element by ID watch like and then we're going to try to click the button so like button dot raise event on click hopefully I'll have some luck with this okay so I'm signed in the video is loaded I'm gonna to try to click the button did not work. So I'm just going to use a greasy method to do this. So like button, focus, and send keys. Send wait. And we want to hit enter. Having a hard time finding the brackets. I'm using a French keyboard. Okay, let's try this again. There it is. I like this video. So we're going to get the role attribute of this button just to demonstrate the get attribute method. Instead of this, we're going to have this.text is equal to like button get attribute. And this get elements by tag name will get, the, I think it searches through the child elements of the instance that you're using the method in. And it, you can just type in like a, a button or A for a link and it will get the element collection by name. So we want to get attribute and we're going to get the, what is it, role attribute. There we go. It is button. Now if you try to do this on the class, which is what I've always wanted to use it for, it's my only use for it really, other than the href attribute, it's not going to work. The class attribute is not really parsed into the accessible data that you have. So I'm going to break on the element here so we can take a look at its construction. So its ID is watch-like. It's got um, inner HTML. It's a span. And then inside you've got some other stuff like an image. And we've got um, its inner text is like, that's what we're going to set. And its outer HTML just contains the, uh, the button tag itself. Its tag name is button. Okay, so we're going to change the like text to hate. So let's uh, go to the like button. And we want to um, get the inner text, I do believe. Set it to hate. There it is. Since I can't figure out how to programmatically click a button, I'm either giving it focus and then using send keys, or I am 
iterating inwards through itself and child controls looking for a uh, hypertext reference. And you can just use the get attribute method to get the URL of the href attribute and navigate to that. And that's pretty much the same thing as clicking the button for the most part. That's all I have to say about the web browser's document object. See you later.